Ghana will be up for assessment by the middle of next year over its ability to repay debts on time. Now, this will be jointly carried out by the World Bank and IMF. But looking at the country's rising debt levels, will the country finally fall into the debt distress status? Well, George Affair has been looking into that. This assessment is usually done by the IMF and the World Bank to establish the ability of a member country to pay back its debt on time. Call it a stress test. The exercise will look at Ghana's ability to meet its debt obligations when it's hit by some challenge that may affect its revenue generation. The debt sustainability analysis has become very important following the transmission from a developing country to a lower middle income status. This should mean that there should be a different sort of assessment that is moving away from the debt-GDP ratio crossing the 70% mark to other variables. Ghana's total debt stock ending September this year stands at 273.8 billion Ghana cities, representing about 71% of the total value of the economy. This makes the country a high risk of debt distress. Now, the country's rising debt stock, there are fears that we could soon flip into the debt distress status soon. However, the World Bank country director, Pierre Laporte, has told job business that from his personal assessment, he doesn't think that Ghana will flip into this status, even though the team at the World Bank and the IMF may have the final say on this. There are risks, but I don't think so, personally. Yeah? Why? Because uh, on the one hand, again, if you look at the structure of your debt, a large proportion of Ghana's debt is to multilaterals like World Bank, IMF, the bilaterals, and these are generally long-term debt. Government, on the other hand, has argued that despite the spike in the debt stock, which was related to COVID-19 expenditure and the banking sector cleanup, it is half optimistic that with some programs that is implementing, as well as the expansion of the economy, this will help improve the situation before the middle of next year when the IMF and the World Bank will carry out their own scrutiny and assessment on their ability to pay back their debts on time.